Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy and in this video I'll show you how to embed Twitter feed to your WordPress. You can choose if you use your timeline or a hashtag and I'll show you how to add it in Elementor and WordPress Gothenburg. It's showtime. Tips with punch. If you're looking to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notified about new video tutorials. Let's first install a plugin that will help us with all of this. I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and to embed a Twitter feed we'll need a plugin. But that's quite simple, you just go to plugins and add new. And then you can type in Twitter feed. And we need this one, custom Twitter feeds. It's created by Smash Balloon. I like this one. Let's click on install now. And then activate the plugin. And don't worry, this won't happen to you. Next, let's connect the plugin to your Twitter account and adjust few settings. Once the plugin is activated, you have a new menu item here, Twitter feeds. Just click on the Twitter feeds here. And the easiest way is to just log into Twitter and get the access token. So let's do that. And let's authorize the app to do this like this. And if it doesn't go from first time, just try again. Uh, for me, I needed to do it twice and then it worked. It'll pre-populate some of these fields and you can select some other things. So for example, you can use the timeline feature. So I'm gonna use my, this is like a test account. I have a, two ventures. You could use also a hashtag to show certain feed of for that hashtag or home timeline. It's really up to you what you wanna do. Here you can select how many tweets to display and check for new tweets every three hours. I think that's fine if you want to, if you have a lot of visitors and you want to have super up-to-date Twitter feed, then you can decrease this to one hour per time. And then once you're happy with all of this, just click on save changes. Sure. Now it's time to add a feed to your website. Yeah. All right, great. So now let's display this in the feed. So just grab this short code, copy it. And now you can head to your post or page where you want to display it. So I'm going to show it for a post, all posts. And let's edit this one. As you can see, I have a tweet here already, but actually what I want is add a new block and you need to add a short code. Just click on it, it will add it here. And now you can add the short code here and then update the page. If you have the WordPress classic editor, this process is the same. You take the short code, put it on your page and then save it. And you'll see it on your live site. No problemo. And for Elementor, it's pretty much the same process where let's say this is the page I want to add it to. I just scroll to the place I want to have the Twitter feed. I'm going to add a new section. And then here in the search box, type in short code like this. Just drag it here. And now I'm going to just paste it in the same short code I just copied a bit earlier. So you can see now everything shows up here. Nice. Now it doesn't show you anything right now. But if we go and click on preview, and then preview in the new tab. You'll see that I have the tweet here that was already there, but now here I have the feed. Sure. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Now we can customize it a little bit because right now the icons don't show up. Right now it doesn't work that well because my theme is with a dark background whereas this would work better with the white one. So let's head to the, back to WordPress and Twitter feeds. And we can customize things here. So you can select the width of the feed and the height if needed. And you can give it even a custom CSS class if you know what you're doing. And here in the style section, you can update some of the colors 
So on this page, we can change the style of the whole feed and simply you can change the feed background here, but I'm not gonna change just the tweet background. So I'm gonna make it white like this. You have the header, I'm gonna add it as a white one like this. Header text color, keep it black. And then if you scroll down, there's a couple other ones that are useful. So for example, if you wanna change the logo color, I, I'm fine with the default one. Tweet text, just make it black. You can also adjust how the text length like this and also links. I'm going to make them bluish like this. And I think for now it's okay. I'm going to save the changes. Now if you go to the website and refresh the page, you'll see that it's been updated and now everything is nice and it fits here as it should. Since you have now Twitter feed on the site, how about optimizing your website for fast loading times? For that, check out the first video right here. And in the second video right here, I'll show you how to improve your on-page SEO to rank higher on Google. Whoosh!